What is up YouTube? KM888 here with another Trap Tricks video for you guys. You've been asking for this a while. It's a Trap Tricks Ragnar Raika combo video. I won't probably post the decklist on my YouTube channel, um, but I will post a comment on my Facebook page revealing the decklist uh, in dual bo uh, dueling book form uh, for the simple reason that I don't think a Ragnar Raika list is the way to go for us in this format. Ragnarika pretty much loses out to Shifter, uh, to a lot of hand traps, and I simply don't like that. Uh, I have my reasons, uh, you all know them from previous videos probably, but I still wanted to show off the combo. Now, the simple combo that I want to show you guys is Mantis plus Garden. Uh, these are two cards that I used often in the in the past to uh, actually showcase Trap Tricks combos because this fully represents uh, a Trap Tricks opening. And with these two, I will show you guys what you can do for Trap Tricks Ragnarika. So let's get into this. First things first, normal summon the Trap Tricks Mantis and use the effect. You're going to search Trap Tricks Mirmelio. Link the Mantis away into Trap Tricks Seta. I already arranged the deck and the extra deck, so uh, I have to get into this, I guess. Use Garden, which gives you a second normal summon, and you're going to go Trap Tricks Mirmelio. Use Mirmelio's effect, and you're going to search for Grave Digger's Trap Hole. This is in your hand. Sarah's effect going to set a Trap Tricks Holotea. Use the Holotea by discarding the Grave Diggers that you got, and you're going to special summon it, triggering Sarah once more. And you're going to summon Trap Tricks Dianea. Now, Dianea is going to trigger, and you're going to set Grave Digger Trap Hole. This is basically what any Trap Tricks list is supposed to do as the Trap Tricks combo. It's the simplest of form. Now, what you're going to do right now is you're going to link away the Dianea with the Serra, and you're going to go and make Arrows Mary Jasmine. I've already said this before, um, and I will say it again. The reason that I also think Trap Tricks Ragnarika isn't that great is because the Plants Link deck is way better at it. A one card combo in the uh, Loki just gives you way more than this can ever provide, but it's pretty cool what we can do. So, <coughs> overlay the Mermelio and the Holotea, and you're going to make Rika Queen Strena. Use Strena's effect, detach, and you're going to add back the Dianea to your hand. Use Jasmine's effect, and we're going to tribute to Strena. To summon, Ragnarika, the Evil Seed. At this point, Evil Seed is going to trigger Chain Link 1, and we're going to chain the Strena, special summoning it um, like this. So we have Teardrop of the Rika Queen now. Uh, the reason I go with the Rika Queen over the uh, over the other one that you can summon, like the the big ass plant, the Elk or something, um, is because you need a Rika Queen on uh, you need a Rika on your end board. So for for later purposes, resolve the Evil Seed. We're going to search for Ragnaraka Bloom, and we're going to search the Ragnaraka Samurai Beetle, banishing the Dianea as part of the effect of Evil Seed. Use Samurai Beetle, special summon it, by returning Dianea to the bottom of your deck. So at this point, Dianea is also back into the deck as an additional resource for later on. So you only need to play one Dianea. That's a cool thing, I guess. Link summon the Evil Seed and the Samurai Beetle. And we're going to make, of course, Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier. Skeletal sold, uh, Soldier is pretty cool, but you cannot use its effects if you summon anything else but plants, insects, or reptiles. And that's why I also think this combo is kind of weak. Um, there's nothing that you can do uh, for Omni Negates, basically. Like, uh, unless really, really difficult to achieve. But if you want more info, you can send it on my Facebook page, comment down below, like, everything you want. Uh, use the beetle's effect so we can summon back a plant or an insect, and we're going to summon back the mantis. Um, I don't believe it negates the effect. Yeah, it doesn't. So we're going to use mantis effect on the gravedigger trap hole. 
The only reason we do this is so it gets back into our hand and later on when we are going to set, then the opponent doesn't know where the Gravedigger is, but hey, that's just semantics, I guess. Use Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier and we're going to summon back a plant. Now, it's really important to bring back a plant because we are going to go and link further where we need two plant monsters. So, go with these two and we're going to summon Aroma Lilith Rosemary. On summon, this card searches any Aroma card. So, we're going to search a Rosemary Angelica. Now, the reason that I decided to go for this kind of combo is because you get an additional search from the Jasmine as well. So... It actually gives you an additional negate. Now that we have these, um, at this point we're going to use the bloom. So activate Ragnarika bloom. We're going to special summon back our evil seed once again because we need a plant for this and we're going to link away into Bengalancer the Resurgent. Now that we finally have an aroma monster in our graveyard, we're going to use the Angelica, discarding it to the graveyard to gain the life points equal to Aroma Lilith Rosemary's attack points. So we gain 2200 life points. At resolution, because we gained life points, Jasmine is going to trigger and we can add Rika Princess to our hand. Now at this point, if the opponent still wanted to let us go off because they thought we couldn't put a negate on board, the Rika Princess is now a negate for things like Nibiru, which is actually pretty fun. A Rosemary Angelica has a secondary effect. If it's in the graveyard and you have an Aro Aroma Monster on board, you can special summon it to the field, but as soon as it leaves the field now, it gets banished. So special summon it for its effect, and we're going to link away with the Jasmine, to summon the Ragnarika Mantis Monk. Mantis Monk's effect, we can banish any two uh, insects or plants, and we can search for a um, for a trap card uh, from Ragnarika. So we're going to banish the Evil Seeds, and we're going to banish the Rosemary. We don't really mind losing those, but we can search a Ragnarika Hunting Dance now. Already pretty nice to have this. Um, it's actually pretty fun. Link away the Bengal Lancer with the Mantis Monk. We're going to summon the Ragnarika Stack Sovereign. Um, put it in frame a bit. <laughs> uh, this card is pretty cool because you can destroy multiple monsters at once, but we'll go over that in an instance. Uh, Rika Princess, because we control... Uh, one sec... During your main phase, special summon this card from your hand, but while it's face up in the monster zone, you can't special summon monsters except plant monsters. So we can just special summon it and use it to overlay with the Mantis into Trap Tricks Pinguicola. Now we could summon um, Trap Tricks um, Rafflesia right here, so we are always safe from Nibiru, but I also don't really like not having the princess in the grave already. So I just go into Pinguicola for this. Uh, you can go into Rafflesia as well, uh, but I like this as well. So you can go Princess, uh, well, you detach for Pinguicola, and you get to search for the Arachnocampa. Arachnocampa is just another way to protect those back row as well. So, yeah. I don't think our turn is done yet. Bengalancer effect. You can special summon it by banishing Link Monsters up to four. So you need to uh, banish, like... Jasmine alongside the Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier, so 2 plus 2 is 4. You banish these, and you bring it back on the field. Next up, since we have a Trap Tricks monster, we can special summon the Arachnocampa, and we link it off into our second Serra. You can summon it here, you can also summon it here, I don't really care, it's whatever you want to do. And then we can set two trap cards, uh, the Grave Diggers and the Hunting Dance. So what we have from our simple combo of Mantis with the Garden is we have Sarah with back row. It's all always good. Uh, we have the Rika Queen to tribute anything that we want uh, as a quick effect for, for nothing. Like, just tribute it. We have the Bengalancer, which uh, is a bounce. We have the Ragnarika Stack Sovereign, which uh, is a double monster destruction. Whenever anything is sent to the, their graveyard or their banishment by card effect, we can steal it with the Pinguicola and attach it to, uh, to it, uh, which is also really good. All our monsters have an additional 300 attack and theirs lose a 300 attack, so, which is also really relevant. 
The Ragnarika Hunting Dance uh, can pop two cards because we control an insect and a plant. Gravedigger Trap Hole negates anything from hand, grave, or banishment and does 2000 damage. In our graveyard, we have the Rika Princess, so by tributing the Rika Queen, we can actually negate. Um, I, I just, yeah, I have to, uh, I, don't, I don't even have to tribute this. I can just put this back into the deck, tribute any monster, uh, a plant, so I can tribute Bangalancer, Serra, or Pinguicola, just negate this, the effect. And I have Holotea in Graveyard for the Mermelio as an additional spell trap destruction. Or if they have Heavy Storm, uh, have, have Harpy's Feather Duster or something, I can revive the Arachnocampa and just protect my phase down traps uh, all in once. So that's like 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. This can bring out uh, Pudica, so that's 8. Uh, let's count this as a half <laughs> interrupt. Um, and then we have two more, so it's like 9 or 10 interruptions if you really play, get to play them well. Uh, which is actually crazy from a two-card combo. Uh, but yeah, this is basically the bread and butter of the deck of Trap Tricks Reck Norica that I went for. Um, if you just can get off the Trap Tricks combo, you can get to this, which is fun. And then you can build your deck around that. If you want to see what I built, just go to my Facebook page, it will be on there. Uh, it's probably not optimal because I haven't tested it uh, at locals or something, but I it's also not my preferred build, so disclaimer to that. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao!